Welcome back to the lab. As always, this is Kondrick. Um, as you can tell, my inventory is empty. That is because I put everything away briefly uh, because I was working on making us a digger age and I needed to spawn in a creative notebook and I didn't want to do that with anything in my inventory because I didn't want to accidentally spawn something in and not realize it. So let me grab everything back real quick. Let's see. I might want that. I think that's all I need now. Let's see. Do I have? I believe I have a uh, return link book. Yes, I do. Okay. So first, before we check out the digger age, because I haven't even created the book yet. All the stuff's in the writing desk. I just have to pull the book out. But first, I'm going to do an update. Uh, sure, two goals on, but AFK. I finished removing all the uh, vanilla buildings. Um, I don't remember where exactly I was last time. Um, this is a villager breeding cell area um, that Chertugal put together. I put up the fences and made the, uh, the one-way gate that lets the villagers get in but not back out um, just in case just to keep them from escaping if somebody has to go in there. Uh, let's see. Shirtugal's made progress on his house. I, uh, I haven't looked at that recently. But I also built um, this building over here, which I think I'm finally starting to figure out how to make things look decent. But this is the uh, Spawnville Tap House and Brewery, which basically uh, it's a little bar. And uh, Shirt said he has the materials needed to make some brewing stands. So I'll probably take down some of these shelves and put brewing stands in. And these are potion, potion shelves from Bibliocraft. So once we've got a, a brewing setup going on, we'll probably uh, keep some potions on the shelves. And uh, let's see, what else? That you've already seen. That's uh, Breakneck Sandwich Hunter Horgan's um, place. That's Next Gen's place that I built. Um, Hunter Horgan Breakneck built his. Um, I built this little mirror image of the B place. This is Dyer's Dimensions, which is the Mistcraft room. And that is uh, where we'll be going shortly. Let's see here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show. I don't think that's it. Oh, yes. We created a nether portal under the well just to keep the sound out of the main area because nether portals can get noisy and annoying. But we won't be using that portal much. We're going to end up creating a nether hub and putting a book in the Mistcraft shop uh, to get to the nether hub. So, yeah. But, until that is done, let's see, I think it may be time to grab the digger age, which is a flat, single biome, extreme hills, with normal lighting, no weather, no seas, so therefore no water getting in the way, um, noon, zero length sun, so always day, um, a bunch of random other stuff. I've got uh, no moon, no stars, starfisher just in case, crystals, um, endstone, I believe endstone obelisks. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but whatever. I figured it'd be good to get some endstone occasionally. Uh, glowstone crystals. We're going to have villages, strongholds, nether fortress, dungeons, and then just random miscellaneous rainbow, sky color, fog, etc. So let's go ahead and take this out and put it, let's see here, we'll put it on this lectern, why not? Alright, and we don't really need, we don't really need that. Um, 
Can I put it on the bookshelf? No, I can't. But I can put it in the notebook that is on that bookshelf. So let's do that. Alright, so first time going. Ooh, you know what? I need some cobble, just in case. Hopefully, there's no instability, but uh, we'll find out. We'll find out very, very quickly if there is instability. I really hope there isn't. I think I did it in a way where there won't be. But let's check out the digger world. First time generating. It might be a little slow. And wow, that uh, that is a crazy rainbow. Anytime now. Anytime. Okay, so we have glowstone and normal crystals, no debuffs, we have obelisks, I don't see endstone, but, uh, hmm, so far it looks like the perfect age for mining. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to the spawn village and get a linking book so that uh, so that people can get back to spawn or back to the village. Now let me see, I did put in starfishers just in case, but um, I don't see one. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to see. Now, I did not put any underground, um, I did not put anything, uh, any underground features except, uh, stronghold, uh, fortress, and dungeons. So, mobs will probably be spawning on the surface a lot, but let's go back to the village. And, uh, uh oh. Okay. There. Whoa. I was stuck on the bed or stuck in the bed. Oh, lag. Great. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's create a book and take a link book stand with us. And let's see. Where do I want this to be? Um, how about like this? This looks like a good spot. And not that it matters, but we'll go ahead and do that and go to Digger. All right, now it should load faster this time, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so put this here and Overworld. There we go, okay. Now we have a digger age, and by the time I come back here, there will be uh, <laughs> quarries probably all over the place. I know Shirtugal and NextGen both wanted quarries as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these crystals right away. And uh, I think, let's see here. I'm probably going to, uh, it's going to be a little while before I can record the rest of this episode, because I have some regular work to do, but everybody wanted a digger age, um, so I, uh, decided to do that real quick, but I have to get some real life work done before I can do some more recording, and obviously that means I'm going to be cutting the recording soon, and, uh, 
then I'll probably do a little more work on the village, and we'll come back when I have something more to show. Um, I may actually wait and uh, make the next sec next amount of recording be when I work on the nether hub. So, uh, I guess you'll see in a few seconds what I decided to do, uh, what the next recording is going to be. Alright, well, see you when I see you. And we are back. Um, just a quick update. Uh, next gen is here. And all I'm going to show you real quick what happened during the time between last recording session and this one. Um, let's see here. Uh, Shirtugal's daughter has been on, a uh, feral spirit. She built this house over here, which makes mine look pathetic. Um, and she is collecting chickens in her basement, apparently. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, uh, working with Shirtugal and NextGen, we built this building here, which is going to be um, Shirtugal's power plant, energy factory, whatever. Um, so we've got that. I put up a board. Oh, I need to go like this. Oh, I gotta turn it white first. Okay. Um, let's see. Bones, 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 bones. Bone. Here we go. Um, I put up this board for Ender storage colors. Oh, that's sticky resin. Where's? Oh, that's why. There we go. All right. So we ha now have a board for designating uh, ender portal or ender chest, ender storage colors. And uh, let's see here. Yep. Yeah. And uh, da -da 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 -da. what else? Uh, we I have seen a couple baby villagers. So this breeding cell is actually working. Um, what else can I s cover here? There's not really much else to cover right now, but next gen is getting some materials together. I'm going to grab some materials, and we're going to head to the nether and start working on our nether hub project, which I think people are going to be interested in. So I'm going to, yet again, cut it right here, and we'll be back when it's time to show you what we're working on. And we are back on top of the nether, here with Next Gen, ready to start the nether hub. Uh, hello guys, uh, 1LPunk1106 here, welcome you to a video. Um, today I'm here with Kondrick as well, he just introduced me into his video. And today we're going to be working on the nether hub, and uh, yeah, we're just going to get the basic design that down, and then we're going to be building it out of the blocks we want to. Uh, later on it's gonna look different for both of us he's using the sortex and I'm using the default so we'll, we'll figure something out and get it going yeah I think enough of us use default and uh, various other texture packs that we just have to find something that looks good generically okay well um how'd you want to do this did you have an idea did you want to make it a circle again what'd you want to do well, I like circles in Minecraft, um, <laughs> but uh, let's see. Uh, um, I really like where uh, where Zisto was going with the uh, Minecraft FTB one, but obviously we want to be unique and come up with something on our own. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> All right. Well, the book that we've got in the village right now spawns us like right on top of this return book. So, if we want, we can actually put a couple blocks and then stairs around it or I don't know. I don't really have a lot of resources with me either. Yeah. Um thinking something like this and then having Stairs around that, or 
That might work. I mean, if if all we want is a landing platform, and then a walk out to different um, portals or whatever, I think what I'd like to do once everybody has um, has bases is have like a rail line to each base, or even better, maybe a uh, a rail line that does a, a big loop and goes past every single base. I mean, we can really do whatever we want on top of the Nether. We we could do like a track selector where you come in here and then you uh, have like a selector here or something. Use um when we get it uh, the uh, wireless receivers and senders and stuff like that and uh, do selection that way so that when it comes to the certain spot we can uh, it will stop the track and you can go into the portal that way. If you want. Yeah, that could that could be pretty cool. Um, I guess that's one thing we could actually ask uh, viewers to leave in the comments is ideas for uh, what we should do. We managed to ender pearl through the roof of the Nether, so we can go, we can build anything we want as far as we want. We just need ideas. Yep. And then we'll have to choose the blocks to make it out of. We've already pretty much decided that we're gonna make it out of marble. When we get that, when we get enough of it, I should say. Yeah, probably marble or marble brick, um, just to contrast the bedrock. Um, I mean, we could always do mycelium just because of the particle particle effects on the bedrock, but <laughs> gotta find some first. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in itself to get. Yeah, and I think we really want to get something started. But another thing to consider is how uh, how much traveling do we want to do if the pack is going to be updating in 1.6 and um, if the updates mean needing to regen most of the world yeah. we don't want to we don't want to generate things too far ahead of time and then have to wander really far just to get horses or whatever yeah so we do have time to make this we don't have to make it immediately uh, but we do want to work on it um, when we can so that it can get done. Definitely. Um, hmm. <laughs> we really should have planned farther ahead on this. Yeah, it's all good, though. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so uh, do we want to maybe cut some re cut recording for a little while, come up with an idea, and then uh, come back when we have something to do? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Well, uh, we are back again <laughs> with a uh, a portal back to the village. Um, very very similar, actually almost identical to the portal on Digger. And I think we finally have a plan. Um, we want to have where this dirt is up here. We want to have uh, a board with buttons or whatever to choose a destination. And then we will probably over in this corner here have a, a cart deployer that will come out and on an embarkation track pick up whoever pushed the thing and then send them down these stairs right here or this this edge here and we'll have like a circle or whatever with individual destinations where whatever you pushed on um, whichever button you push that's the destination it will switch out and send you off on and then we still gotta figure out how to make everybody come back but it's probably gonna be just come back the same line and then back up here and have like a, a uh, disembarker or whatever it is tra uh, rail that kicks you out of the mine car cart before the cart deployer picks it back up. Uh, other than that, uh, you have anything to add? Nope, not really. Uh, but we're probably going to get all the resources we need here soon for this. Um, considering that the server is still only four days old, five days old, something like that. Uh, we are still trying to get the resources we need to do some of these projects. So, after we get those, uh, which we are setting up stuff right now to get it, uh, we will start on this, and we will update you guys on it, and probably do another episode on what we're doing. 
Yeah, none of us has really made any progress in Railcraft yet, and um, or farming Endermen, which apparently the embarkation trail or uh, rail requires Ender pearls. So, uh, other than the steam bo boilers that Shirt's working on getting resources for, it might be a little while before we're able to continue this project. But I, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, we may want to wait a little while anyway until the 1.6 version of the pack comes out just so that we haven't explored areas that uh, we might not want generated yet because uh, we don't know what kind of world gen will change. Yeah, there, there's going to be, uh, with Natura, there's going to be new things in the nether and the overworld, so we're definitely going to want that in this world um, so that we can... Use it. We don't want an old world that is based off the 1.4.7. We want it off what is going to be the newest versions of the mods and the new mod packs that are going to be added to it. So, so the question for any viewers that have any experience with MC Edit, if once we upgrade to 1.6, if we open the world in MC Edit and delete any chunks outside of the village and outside of the nether hub um, will saving the world file back end up causing us to lose mod items or will they be safe and not change into something else yep uh, anyway I think that's gonna about wrap up this episode for today so Yep, yeah. that's going to be the end of my episode as well. So, um, for all of our viewers, hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a great day. See y'all later.